Join me, Tom Bancroft, as I review the Wacom 16-inch. Got it all set up. Uh, it looks great. This is a really nice size because it's something you can put almost anywhere. Uh, the big 32 inch over here, that's a monster. It's for definitely professional, high end kind of stuff. But for everyday, but even pro level stuff, this is a great size. It's got the legs that pop out there. Um, uh, we got Photoshop open right now, running it off a laptop, a Mac laptop. Uh, and this is a, an awesome setup. You can take this anywhere as long as you have your uh, Mac with you uh, or PC. Um, and so I just want to do some sketching with it. So let's give that a try. You can already see that it's got the nice thick and thin, right? That you can, put, I'm just pushing a little bit harder and making these shapes. But you can see I can go as skinny as I want. I'm gonna do a few skinny, really light ones. But then as soon as I push harder, we're gonna get some nice thicks. So really nice kind of uh, thick and thin that you can kind of create. I love that, it's super important to me. So I just grabbed the Kaya Ultimate Charcoal Pencil and I like to bring uh, the opacity back to 77 or so. And that gives me just a little bit of being able to kind of draw over it and thicken it up and also get it a little bit darker when I want to, when I want to hit just the right line. Um, and that works nice. It feels more like a pencil that way. I even cut back the black so that it's not quite 100% black. And that gives me a little bit, a nicer, just a little bit, I guess you could say warmer gray. Um, and I can pile it up and I like that. So that gets me ready to do a sketch. This is good, but Parallax is not bad for, um, for as low as the price is on this. So this is, this uh, 16 inch Cintiq is Wacom's um, lowest price one that they've ever done. It's about 650, uh, at, uh, but close to that. Um, and for, for what it is and how pro level it is, um, I'm really excited about it. Um, let me cut off some of these and actually do a little bit of uh, sketching on it. So to, what I like to start with is like a blue layer. And, and that's back from my animation days. I'm used to drawing in like a light blue or a red. Um, also, I created the drawing event called Mermaid. Uh, every May, I encourage those people to draw mermaids. So I'm gonna try and do a little cute uh, kind of cartoony mermaid. Mermaid, <laughs> kind of a cute cartoony mermaid. Let's see if I can kind of get a nice kind of flow to it. Create that line of action. Should be kind of swimming, I guess. I love to sketch. This is, this feels so good, so natural, almost like on pencil and paper. There's a little bit of a matte finish to it too. And notice that it's not touching, my knuckles aren't bothering it a bit. Uh, let me give her a short hair so I don't get in the way of that hand too bad. Now I'm just gonna, I'm trying to do this quickly, but now I wanna add the next layer where I'll uh, go to a more opaque and bring up this, put it just a little, not quite black. Um, and then I'll even talk, bring down the opacity on this, so it's not gonna get in the way. And now I can kind of do a new, uh, new version of this sketch. I'm gonna still keep it sketchy, but I wanna add a little bit more details now. This just feels really good. Um, I don't, I could see doing storyboards on this very easily. Um, I don't want to do it on the plane. There's no room on a plane, but 
but you could definitely be traveling. And I know live action storyboard artists have to do that often. They have to uh, go to a location sometimes. This would be the thing to do that. You can do pro work on this and be traveling. Um, again, I'm just, I'm not taking the time to do a super detailed sketch, obviously. But others could zoom in and do all kinds of, uh, you know, color effects and stuff. Anything that Photoshop can do, this, this critique's ready to do it. Add some bubbles, kind of help show some action. Right out of the box, start working on this and it feels right. So let's add some more bubbles here. There she is. It also comes with the new Wacom Pro Pen 2, which has um, a lot more uh, sensitivity to it than the original. Um, and that comes included in this. So I love that this also has uh, built in here a little uh, place to put that. We put it in there, you can walk away, but this is nice too. You can take it out and they just really fancy. They put in extra nibs in there. So you can pull those out, replace this nib. They're all locked in there. Um, and this is a tool to help kind of get your nib out of there. Uh, it's just really well thought, thought out. Really enjoyed that. Um, I think that if you're interested in a Cintiq and you want something that's going to be a little bit more comfortable price, I just, I don't know how they did it, but they brought the price down and made a great product at the same time. So look into the Wacom Cintiq. I think you'll really like it.